What do you mean you installed security cameras at your house? It's not a big deal, bro. Just, just cameras. I know. Just let me know when you come over, so I'll disarm them so it doesn't like go off when there's motion, just so I don't bother my parents. Oh, so it's so if so if I move around, then it's gonna like. It's only outside, bro. We're not. We're not weirdos. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another day in the life video. Um, like I said, we're back. I'm gonna start grinding on these again, bro, because I'm the one who originally started this. Uh, day in the life of an unprofitable day trader, right? Because everyone else was doing like, oh, day in the life of a millionaire day trader. And I'm like, okay, fuck it. I'm starting the uh, unprofitable day trader series because I was the first one to ever start these this series because it was different. Um, but hopefully you guys um, know who the original creator is. Obviously, duh, like, come on, be for real. But other than that, guys, I took um, some trades today and I'm only up 300 bucks, $377. I was down about 900 bucks and then I kept trading, which is never the best like idea, but I had an idea, I had a vision, and I saw that it could go down and took that. Let me show you guys the trades really quick. Looking at this chart, it looks like Asia and London just kind of just accumulated, because I do a lot of daily profiling, so basically what happened was, I guess price almost came down. I was expecting these levels to get swept with the higher time from PDRA, but we just pumped instead of instead of dumping down. We just pumped. We had SMT at these lows, and we never had a change of state of delivery. So I was just I wasn't just very uh, sure with anything at the moment. Um, but I guess the morning pumped, and I was looking for shorts. I was short biased in the on the in the morning. So basically, what happened here was I ended up taking this short right here because we had just swept out so let me show you guys out asia high london high and all these highs up here and i was looking for shorts right and i was also short bias going into the morning and looking to target these lows or these this low that was created that have smt and what is it right here we had smt at these highs somewhere and then let's see if this will like not be so blurry so right here we ended up getting a market structure shift to the downside with with some displaced my i did not enter off this fair value gap. i wanted to see your reaction so this is this was technically your order block right here and i was like okay look if we break past through this order block i'll enter and then boom we broke past it i entered off this order block and then my stops was at this high and it got stopped out and then eventually like 10 minutes later price just completely dumped and yeah and this is the last trade i took but basically we were we were this looks like a retracement to me right this pull leg move up just looks like retracement to me um so then we kind of start to displace down a little bit we had this one minute fair value gap right here i was like okay look i'm gonna wait for a reaction off of this and then boom reaction off and i knew this fair value was gonna get disrespected because we never broke structure back to the upside but we did break structure to the downside here so it never broke structure to the upside so i wasn't really too worried about this fair value gap right here price came down took a partial off here and then i moved my stops to this high because i really wanted to see lower and we also had this one minute imbalance and i was like okay look i'll take one off around this level here and then boom got stopped to break even so i ended up holding it down to 50 percent mark of this range actually or this fair value gap right here and then yeah and i recovered from my loss uh from this morning and it now i'm up 377 dollars but yeah overall decent trading day um, I think I would have caught the longs if I was long biased, honestly. But like I said, daily profiling has helped me out a lot. So I'm, I'm going to keep using that. And yeah. By the way, a lot of people that are were apprentice are starting to leave the Discord. It's because trading is so toxic and they just thought that it was ruining their mental. And I completely understand. And I was like, yeah, no, I understand that 100%. Um, do what you got to do. And I, and I respect you. And I wish you nothing but the best and they a majority of them left and the, which is okay because like i said trading is very toxic so um it wasn't me it was just like a bunch of other members that were just being very toxic to each other and just vice versa and hopefully i can get that down to a crack and just fix everything hopefully but other than that guys i'm about to get ready head towards the gym and i will catch you guys all in a little bit
guys, we're back from the gym. Had a pretty decent workout. Played basketball, sit in the sauna, worked out. Did literally everything I could. But tonight, for right, right now, I meant we're eating some pho right here. And we're watching some basketball, the next chapter here. Eating here, watching some videos. And after that, we're going to go to our friend's house. And we're pro we're going to drink. So, Asian making drink. We'll see. Hey, Q, what are you doing right now? Um, I'm actually looking to place a trade here. I'm looking for longs. I've established that our week, our daily profile is the New York manipulation. So I'm looking for longs here. We have SMT between ES and NQ. So I'm looking to place a long position here. We had a change of state of delivery. Um, let's see if I can place this. This shit is not, I'm not on my computer. Place my soft this low, target on RR2. So right here, we're in a higher time frame for value gap here also. We're in a four hour higher time frame for value gap. I'm looking to place my trade here, let's see, mark your order. Let's see if this plays out in our favor. Let's see. <clears throat> it's for example, like this $20 would have been gone. First of all, but I only have a dollar left. So I'm gonna give it one more try. <laughs> and then let's see if I can turn this $1 into $20 again. All right, boys, we made it back. It's about, let me check. It is about 2.42 p.m. or a.m. right now. I'm going to call it a day. I just came back from my friend's house. But I'm going to call it a day here. It's pretty late. Just got done taking a shower. I'm going to go ahead, go to bed, and I'll catch you guys all in the next vlog.